here are the 10 tips to survive your first data science job let's see those straight away so guys we will learn about 10 tips to survive first data science job all of you know it's not very easy to survive your first job if you come from a different background okay so i will explain you five pairs okay in each pair i will tell you two tips in this pair i am telling you two tips one is your programming and other is your version control okay programming obviously very very important somebody coming from non tech background somebody coming from non programming background how much ever you can improve your programming that is always beneficial do this and then version control is something like how do you manage multiple versions of the code for example in github or in any version control system now the basic challenge i have observed is somebody who is coming from a non tech background non software background they have lot of confusion on version controls okay so just go and learn some of the git commands some of the things about version controls some of the things about how to manage multiple versions of the code okay these two things be it programming in python r whatever you are learning and one or two version control system if you learn right then you will learn the basics of this system so this is your one pair which means two tips let's go to the next two tips okay next two tips is about your confidence and your formal behavior let me give you some example guys okay don't be in a mindset that everybody is superior to you when you join a data science job your first job don't be in a mindset that people are very very superior or they know a lot of things no it's not like that okay and obviously if you are a fresher or if you come from a you know student background university then you need to learn some bit of formal behavior that i have told you many times like if you are unable to attend a meeting just say that you are not able to attend the meeting if you are you know taking a leave just just you know plan that in advance if you are talking to someone don't use the college language university language okay all these will help you in long run okay and then your confidence confidence tells you that hey even if i don't know something i can get this done even if i don't know something i can google on it and i can get this done so these two this pair is focused on you know your basic behavior inside the office for example your confidence basic talking basic attitude basic you know interacting with people and then be formal so that people are comfortable with you people respect you people understand that okay this guy is a you know this guy is not somebody who comes from a different background he has previously learned or done some work in the industry okay so that that message i'm going to give through this pair pair 2 okay what is pair 3 pair 3 very important guys learn some of the jargons okay let me give you some example and then the second thing is being on top of the things let me give you some example here also learn some jargons means let's say um some of the some of the jargons they will use in the calls and meetings for example uh, i will go ahead and get the low hanging fruits or you know um, some of the english jargons or some of the things that people use most of the time some of the things that can be related to let's say agile okay for example agile technique some of the things related to zira scrum master what is a scrum board what is a task what is a you know uh, epic or what is a issue in zira all the jargons and some of the english jargons these things they will use many times in the office calls more and more you know these things better and better it is for you okay so learn some of the jargons do some googling watch some youtube second is be on top of the things now since you are new to the area so maybe you are not very well versed with technical concepts but there are few things that you can do for example you can just create a uh, mom minute sub meeting after the meeting or you know you can just follow up on certain things which is pending for someone else or you can just offer someone that hey this is pending can i get this done for you or you can create a tracker with all the tasks that is pending on the team and you know kind of try to chase people on that so anywhere which shows that you are on top of the things or you are somebody who care about the project right that will give a very good very good impression of you to your manager to your bosses this this is related to you know uh uh this will make you look extra smart in front of others if you use industry jargon and if you are on top of the things for example some issue was raised some ticket was raised nobody responded on that ticket go ahead and take a follow up on that ticket inform your manager that hey i followed up on that ticket all these are examples of being on top of the things okay all these will help you because you may not be very well uh worst with the hands on thing or technical things in your first job okay this is next pair what is the fourth pair 
Fourth pair is basically oriented to human behavior, okay? You have to make friends and you have to keep smiling on your face, okay? Now, how to make friends? You can make friends in multiple ways. Somebody is a football fan, you can talk football. Somebody is a cricket fan, you can talk IPL. Somebody is a let's say, uh, interested in uh, shooting or videography or, you know, photography. These these might be different basis of how you can make friends. And then once you are friends, you can go on, you know, tea coffee together or you can just talk something different from your day to day work. And what will happen when you make friends is your job will be done easily. So tomorrow, if you need some help, right, those guys will help you easily. So make friends. Keep smile. This I tell always to all of you. You know, everybody wants to interact or talk to people who is happy, who is smiling, not somebody who is complaining or who is always in, you know, anger. So you have to show your that attitude that, okay, I am somebody who is happy with the things around me. I create a happy environment. I create a, you know, positive environment around me. These things will help you in long run. Okay. Make friends and keep smiling. And next thing is ask questions and be useful to others. Now, many people will think that why to ask question? I may look stupid. But not like that, guys, you should ask questions. And, you know, what will happen is, uh, yes, two out of 10 times, it may look a little stupid, but eight out of 10 times, things will get clear. And then you will be more familiar with the things, with the concept, with, with what is going on in the project. Okay. So ask questions wherever you can, and then be useful to others. How can you be useful to others? For example, your teammates. So let's say you are not very good in data science concepts or you don't know how to deploy the model, but you can write a good SQL query. Help someone with the SQL query. Uh, let's say you are not very good with data science, but you, you are very good with Excel sheets. Somebody is trying to do something in Excel sheets, help them with Excel concept. Somebody is trying to do something in computer, let's say system related stuff, like how to move files from here to there, or how to copy, how to select multiple items. Many things are there, right? So. If you know something, try to help someone so that they will remember these things. And tomorrow, if you need help, they will be there to help you. Okay. So again, this area is focusing on how can you make a good rapport around and how can you make, you know, good impression in your team and make the environment comfortable. So if you pay attention, guys, apart from first pair, I'm just talking about uh, basically human behavior thing. Okay. So this, what will happen is this will make your life comfortable. This will, you know, take you in a zone where you are not seen as an alien. You are one of the member of the team. And then once, once you start making friends, once you know to people, then people will obviously help you and your life will become easy and easy and easy. Okay. Now a bonus tip guys, bonus tip is avoid imposter syndrome. Now, what is the meaning of this? You can just go ahead and Google. The meaning of this is a person who doubt his or on, on his or her own abilities okay so do not doubt your own abilities you are as intelligent as good as all of us okay and you are in the learning process of something this is your first job so you are learning but you know you will get there because many people have got there and that is what you have to do avoid imposter syndrome just go ahead ask questions if you're not confident talk to people tell what are your doubts help people wherever you can make friends and let the ball rolling okay so please go ahead and give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet please share unfold data science course which is www.unfolddatascience.com to all of your friends family members whoever is trying to learn data science okay so i will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care